Hi everyone, so today we're going to be using found objects and natural objects to do some printmaking with. So I'll just walk you through what I've got. I've got a feather here, uh, a cotton bud, uh, a fork, toilet roll, I've got a piece of, uh, of a branch, a twig, um, I've got a piece of uh, rosemary, I've got some pasta pieces, uh, a straw, some string, uh, I've got bits of Lego, I've got uh, a piece of bark, just some bits of cardboard that we're going to use on the side, the corrugated inside of a cardboard, and here I've got some bubble wrap which I've wrapped around uh, a cup so that I can use it for printing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use all of those objects to do some interesting mark making. So what I've done is I've folded a sheet of paper into eight sections. So I'll go through that with you now. Okay, I'm going to bring, so my Indian ink, my regular black paint, and some coffee. Right, so we can start. So I'm going to start with my um, toilet roll, I'm just dipping that in, and then just going to create some patterns, kind of overlay them. See what happens if you get them close together. What happens if you move it as you're pressing down? You get a slightly thicker line, which may be interesting. You might want to use it just on the edge, create like a kind of leaf pattern. Okay, so that's your toilet roll. Okay, next I'm going to use the um, cotton bud. So I'm going to dip it in my paint this time. Okay, see what happens if you don't put any paint on, do you get an effect where it kind of fades away as you're going across the page? from dark to light. And then what happens if you maybe overlay them in a bit more of a random pattern? So I have a play with that.
won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. Um, some other great um, tools to use um, are pine cones, um, a bit like the past, you can use some springs which work really well. Um, lots of other branches, twigs, um, a handful of twigs, um, anything. You can attach anything to the end of a stick, um, leaves, um, some moss. So just try anything. I'm sure that you've got lots and lots of bits and pieces in your garden and you can certainly collect card and cardboard around the house. You can try Lego or other. You can use a potato. You can cut some shapes out of a potato. Um, you can use anything. So have fun.